I am Dinesh Kumar. I am the trainer for Oracle. And in this session, we are going to discuss about SQL frequently asking questions. So these are very much helpful for the people who will try a job for the experience of four plus years, up to four plus years, you can use these questions. Yeah. <coughs> So what are the topics in our SQL? Topic wise, I am covering each and every set of questions. Yeah, first, I am going to raise some questions on constraints. What is a constraint according to database? A constraint is a business rule. Remember, a constraint is a business rule. If we want to implement business rules on the database tables, then database will maintain only consistent data. So what are the constraints or useful to maintain consistent data? See two kinds of constraints are there. That is key constraints. What are key constraints? Again, key constraints are of two types. First one is <coughs> unique and second one is not null. So these two constraints are helpful to maintain consistent data within the database tables. What is unique? It allows only unique values. It allows only unique values. So what is meant by unique value? But it can also allows null values also. Remember this point. It also allows null values. What is a null value? What is unique value? In Oracle, every null value is considered as a unique value. One null value is not equal to other null value. And <coughs> What for what kind of columns we can use unique? Unique can be helpful for maintaining mail IDs, mobile numbers, and policy numbers. If a person having policy number, then he has to submit the policy number. The people who are not having mail ID, who are not having mobile number, those people just leave the entry as null. Whenever they are leaving a value in this unique column, it can be considered as null value. Yeah. What is not null? It allows duplicates, but not allows null values. Every value into this kind of column should be presented. It is the important one. For all employee names, we must have to submit a value into not null column. And the third one is primary key. So what is a primary key? Simply I can define like this. Primary key is the combination of unique plus not null. So primary key should not allow duplicates and it should not allow null values. Generally primary keys are defined on such a columns like uh, see I am considering some columns. If you are maintaining employee ID then it should be primary key since every employee must have employee ID and each employee ID should be different with each other. Next you can consider for bank account numbers and you can go for policy numbers and you can go for hall ticket numbers so all these things are considered as primary key columns yeah next what is the second category of constraints the second category is go for domain constraints At, at some times, the key constraints are unable to control some invalid values into the tables. What is meant by that? Let us see if I can define uh, a student table is there. On this student table, you are having roll number, 
name of the student course of the student fee of the student and mobile number i am using on the roll number i am defining primary key on the name not null constraint on the course not null on the fee not null on mobile unique constraint according to primary key constraint if i am taking the values 1 0 3 5 all are valid but according to our knowledge and no student is there which is having a roll number 0 this is invalid it must be invalid how can i control this kind of value yeah according to courses i am writing the courses here suppose if you are using oracle and java and unix these are valid instead of that unfortunately you are typing like this orcl you are not typing the complete spelling of oracle with orcl my business is not having any course name so it's not valid in that case it is inserted into the table but it is not valid this is also invalid yeah coming to the fee okay somebody is paying 7000 8000 and one value i am entering 8 but the value 8 is wrong why because according to data type of the column it is number of 5 according to data type and size 8 value is valid and it will be inserted but according to our business it this is wrong how do i control this kind of values those can be controlled by using domain constraints remember this domain constraints are useful to specify valid range onto a column and to specify valid list of values onto a column <clears throat> so how can i define these range and list of values yeah range can be defined by using between operator and how can i define valid list of values by using in operator these two keywords can be used along with the domain constraint that is called as check so if you can apply the range of roll number should be 1 to 100 then it accepts from the values 1 to 100 only it won't accept below the values of 1 and above the values of 100 and in the valid list of values along with the check i can define list of values the spellings are like this oracle java and unix then it allows only these three values if you are making any spelling mistake like orcl or uni cs then it won't be allowed then by using these two constraints we are maintaining only valid data into the tables